Court is now in session. Silence is hereby enjoined. Honorable Francis J. Fabulio for signing. September 11, 246 of the revised penal code to prove that the accused did not defend himself and did the act and bad faith and to prove that the, that the accused did not surrender himself willingly and finally to identify the affidavits and counter affidavits and other documents not vital for his defense. Any comments? Reserve any comments, Your Honor. Subject to cross.
My name is Ember Monte. Good morning, Director. Now, can you please tell us what your what your relationship is with the Houston? We are friends. We are friends. All right. And can you please tell us what what when was the last time that you saw the Houston before you committed that? We were drinking. 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 Now, why were you drinking? Nothing. I don't know the name. He just told me to drink. So you're telling me that, that Mr. Javier came out of the blue to, to you and uh, invited you out for a drink? Yes. Did they give any did they give any indication for what might be his purpose during the drink? Yes. And what was it? He found out that her wife is cheating on him. He did? He did. And how how were you able and did he tell this to you? You were able to infer it from the way he talked. Yes. Now, now, how long have you known Mr. Amir? Five years. Five years. And during these five years, has he shown any? <coughs> has he shown any tendency toward towards spontaneous violence? Yes. 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 Now, 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 would you tell us whether if he if knowing Mr. Amir, do you think that he would? Do? be able to commit such a crime when, when faced with the fact that his wife is cheating on him. Yes. Uh, that is all wrong. Because Mr. Belmonte, how long have you been friends with Anjis? Five years. So can I can I conclude that you are very close friends? Not so close. But if you said that you have you've been friends for five years, yes. so you may I just suggest that you are long long friends. You have a long relationship with the person. Only for five years. Do you know him very well? Not that much. So when you said that you inferred that that some that he that his wife cheated on him, how did you? Infer it based on the things that you observe about him. If you don't know him very, very well, a close friend told me. A close friend, and you also said that he has a tendency to spontaneous violence. And did you personally saw any examples of that? I experienced one. And what's that? Um, May I remind you that if you you like this. Yes. Examination, you will be committing perjury. And you will be held in contempt. We had a, an argument, and he threatened me with his gun. During your, your, during your drinking sessions, did he seem happy, anxious, or just a normal self? Just his normal self. Just his normal self. So how could you basically conclude that his wife cheated on him when he was just acting his normal self? A close friend told him that he A close friend? And who is this close friend? Ben. Your Honor, this witness is not competent enough to answer the needs of the, of the case. I therefore move to Dismiss this witness from the trial. The witness is dismissed. We will now proceed with the next witness.
explain his prayers, believe that people can, will not uh, uh, will not outwardly will not outwardly show that the, the fact that they are about to commit a crime and this and it is determined because of course they have planned it for the crime and will not want to give it away. Mere moments before. Basically what I'm asking is, do you think as a friend of him, do you think he would be able to give away the crime minutes before doing it? I don't think so. I I know I know pretty much and I am confident to say I know when You're saying that as a friend, he could not have he could not have premeditated this house. Yeah. So you're saying that as a friend, Mr. Ravier would not have like, be able to commit this act. Yes. So here we are in this court. At putting him on trial, not for murder, but seeing whether or not he is fit for jail. We already know that he committed the crime. What we're, what, we're, what we're trying to find out is whether or not the crime was predetermined. Now, may I ask you again, did he, did he have a gun? Did he, did he have his gun with him? What is time? What time is the ship to be asked? It just happened right after you finished the ship. So he wanted to see why directly after that. So it would be normal to bring me to Harry's gun since we're looking. So he just he just he has just come from a ship, went to visit you, but also wanted to go and visit and see his wife. And in the short time that you were able to see him, you have you were able to conduct a direct card test study of him from what? One or two quick, quick glances? A few words exchanged between you? We were together on the way. On the way? Yes, on the way. And do you think that is enough to be able to form a reliable character study of him? I need to remind you that that you should be undergoing an extreme emotional trauma if you did and if you did in fact know that this wife was cheating on him. How could you assume a short moment would ever value a long time I spent with each other before? Because we're talking because we're talking about the moment the direct moment before we're trying to find out whether or not whether or not it is predetermined. He has never been cheated on before in his life. You do not know. You have no precedent to know what he would feel like, what he would act like during that moment. Is that not true? It's true. Now going on back, go, going back to the topic of whether or not this could be determined. You you have said that you have seen the wife multiple times with another man. And what were the venues of what were the venues that they frequented? Public places and parks. Public places and parks that the policeman such as Mr. Javier would usually frequent when, they, when he is on patrol. Isn't that right? So are you saying that it is beyond reasonable doubt that Mr. Javier would not have been able to see them before? Yes, because there's also private places you could have gone. Yeah, but they also went to public places. We don't know how we don't know how frequent they were going in public places, and we don't know because it could be any time of the coincidence that they could see each other. But the very fact that we are deliberating on, on is that they went to public places, and it is possible that Mr. Javier was able to see them. How how they have no, because sometimes he shifted in other places. No, I'm not asking whether or not he could have known. I'm asking if it is possible. It's not possible that a policeman who is who would be dutifully carrying out his duties would not would not patrol in public places. Did I ever mention that I was seeing this person in another town where it's out of this uh, where it's out of this ship? I was seeing the woman in other towns where I would visit, and it it came by as a passing coincidence of seeing that. Now, what's this other man? 
What was this other, other men? Other men known to Mr. Abir? No. And he, and, and is there no other possible and is there no other other possible channels for which Mr. Javier to find out? No. He does not have any other friends. She was pretty she was pretty secretive woman. We don't even know why she was gone most of her time in college. She was a pretty secretive woman, I exactly. tell you. You is not a close acquaintance of her. You only knew her during college. Was able to find out that he that she had multiple men as affairs. The places where I saw them, that's where I lived. So I could have seen them any time. And from those times that you seen her, you were that we were able to quickly deduce that they were having an affair. I wasn't assuming there was an affair. There could be a possibility of an affair. Since with this case now, now, now that I see it, she was cheating, technically. She was entertaining another man other than his husband. You said technically. Could you please explain us the technicality from which you're operating? I missed it. <laughs> Subscribe. November 2018, Bowing Palo Lepe, Philippines. 